it's not just for super weed that you have up here. It's incredible fucking bud. Apparently it's in everybody's bathtub. <laughs> that doesn't help. But I think it's, it's the, I, I, I used to do, yeah. I used to huff. I think that knocked out a lot of brain cells. The memory, I'm really bad with names, you know, and I blame that all on the drugs, too. I mean, I can talk to people, they'll tell me their name, it goes in one ear, and then it's right out the other. I'm just sitting there staring at them, but thinking, I wonder if he has any drugs. It's a big pinky now for a man. They're getting tougher, guys. By that, I mean they're making new commercials. So watch out. Oh, uh, wasn't it great when it used to be just a couple of eggs in a pan? You know, I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm fried. I get it. But, you know, now they, they, they've just taken out all the logic. Have I seen the latest one? There's one with two kids hanging out in their parents' study, trying to relax. Hard day at high school. Just trying to relax. One of them's got the handgun, and the other kid's got the bong. And that is the best way to hit the bong. It definitely is. Twirling a loaded six-shooter. It just adds an element of danger. It really elevates the high. <laughs> If you haven't seen the one kid, he's got the bong, you can't see him because he's so slouched down, you know, you can't see him. Obviously, this weed is not Mexican. You know, it's, it's, uh, oh, he said Mexican. Okay. <laughs> and you can't see his face either. You can only see him, you know, but you can tell he's a kid, too, because the bong's full of smoke. You just sit there talking. You're going, okay, Junior, you want to clear that? Or you can pay for it or pass it, but it's not wine, good fellow. So let's fucking do something with it, huh? And you know why they put the, the smoke in the bong? You know what they did for all the people who aren't laughing? You know, because if they just saw a couple of kids sitting around with a handgun and a huge plastic tube, they're going to think, oh my God, look at these two homosexuals sitting around with a handgun and this enormous dildo. I told you the homosexuals are violent. we got to get them in cages soon. Yeah, good idea. They won't do any fucking in there. Oh. Yeah. And then the one dude with the bone, he looks at his buddy, Hey man, your sister's hot, dude. <laughs> and he says, don't talk about my sister like that, right? And he grabs the gun. And he's going, well, you got that pretty hard. <laughs> so she's cute. Is that thing loaded? Nah, man. Well, that's not loaded. <laughs> Marijuana. Harmless? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That 38 snub nose is deadly, baby. That's gonna need a trigger lock, buddy. Or else load it with big green buds. And then pull the trigger. I'm guessing it's gonna dry fire. <laughs> it's a good commercial. It is. Just not, you know, not for drugs. You know? They could use it for gun control. They'd have to change the voice over. Be sure to put those guns up, locked away and unloaded. When you're not at home and the kids are sitting around getting high. Make sure everyone's safe. Or NRA. They could use it too. Different angle. Be sure to leave those guns out. Locked and loaded. When you're not at home and the kids are sitting around getting high. It'll help to weed out the weak. <laughs> this country's strong.
All the logic's almost gone. Pretty soon they're just going to have a kid right in the camera screaming. It'll pull back. There'll be a big guy behind him in a prison cell cleaning his dick off. <laughs> happens every day. Girls, happens every day. <laughs> Marijuana. Harmless? <laughs> yeah, still, pretty much. <laughs> With an above average dick in your ass will draw blood. <laughs> the high's gonna wear off. That marijuana can't affect the memory. Probably not enough to forget that little episode, though. That's gonna stick with you. You might forget his name. I don't know how it works.